Hello. Hello. And welcome, everyone. Um, Mr. Toby is uh, getting his uh, technology uh, ready to go here. And uh, I am Jonathan Ogle, uh, Pre-K-12 Visual Arts Specialist for Pinellas County Schools. Thank you, students and parents and art teachers and guests for joining us this evening for our Visual Arts Enrichment virtual event. This is intended for all students uh, in fourth through eighth grade um, and, their, and their parents and guardians. Um, we do have a link. Oh, Jack, I think that you've got your, your microphone um, on right now. If you want to mute that, it's up to you. Um, so we do have uh, information on our visual arts website. You can see that address down there. Um, we're we're going to have links to the sites that uh, Jack Toby, our digital artist and former teacher, is going to share with us this evening. Those links are found uh, at that web address. So let's go ahead and begin. So first of all, I just want to go over a couple of our enrichment event goals for this evening. Uh, we're going to be learning about uh, online art making applications, free online art making applications. And uh, you'll be able to access those with your PCS Connects uh, laptops. So this is um, an exciting evening. And uh, let me present or share our presenter this evening, Jack Toby. He is uh, an active digital artist who has had work in uh, galleries and museums. Uh, he is a retired PCS visual arts teacher of many years. And he also is, uh, he worked in the K-12 visual arts department as a technology integration specialist. So uh, digital art and photography is his specialty. Um, for those of you that are interested in learning more about digital art and photography, we have uh, some courses uh, if you're in middle school or if you're going into middle school at some point um, in the near future, or if you're going to high school, these are some of the courses that are available. You talk to your uh, art teachers at those schools uh, and your school counselor. Of course, you talk to your parents, um, but these are some of those, those uh, courses available. So in middle school, we've got creative photography and we have uh, digital art and design. Uh, so those are two really fun, uh, really interesting courses that you can take in middle school. Um, and then in order to make art and, and do your editing and modifying uh, of photos, manipulating of photos, um, we, we have iPad art labs at the middle school level. So these uh, iPads, they're, they're one to one. So each student would have their own iPad to use and they are um, filled with the latest art making applications. In the high school level, we have two similar courses. We have creative photo and we have digital art and imaging. In our high schools, we have uh, Mac art labs and those have Adobe uh, creative suite applications. So we're talking Photoshop and Illustrator and Premiere and uh, those types of applications. So um, if you're interested in digital art and photography, uh, think about taking these courses. And then uh, before I hand you off to uh, Jack Toby for him to share these online art making apps, I want to uh, uh, let you students and parents know about our PCS summer art camps. We have um, uh, those are in June. They're available for free for all uh, currently enrolled PCS elementary, middle school and high school students. Um, they're four day camp experiences, so week long, um, 830 to 230. There are three types that you can choose from. You can choose uh, traditional, which would be more of your um, media like painting, drawing, uh, oil pastels, uh, clay. That's, that's more of a traditional media. We have the digital uh, art camps. Those are more about digital painting and drawing, um, some animation, everything done digitally using devices. And then we, this one's relatively new. We just started this last summer. Uh, primarily because of the pandemic, but the virtual art camps. So perhaps um, your, your child or you cannot go to a school, um, you, could, you could apply for a virtual art camp. Now seats are limited and it's first come first serve, but if you go to this, uh, this address and um, you can you fill out an application, complete an application, one per student, 
um, this is something that the, the parent, the guardian would need to do. And that way uh, you can apply. So the deadline is April 30th. So um, then the art office will contact those um, parents and guardians that have uh, succeed or com completed their applications and let them know if they're in the camp or if they're on the wait list. All right. So let's have uh, Mr. Jack Tovey. Uh, he's going to take over and uh, he's going to share some pretty exciting things with us this evening. So Jack, are you ready to share? So these are the, Jonathan already told you that I'm a retired art teacher. I've taught all grade levels from kindergarten up to teaching other art teacher. And I concentrate on digital art as my medium. All right, who's my next? My Prezi's not even working. Oh, come on. Stay in full screen. Okay, there we go. Here's some of the artwork that, I, that I've been creating lately. And as you can see, all these things are done on an iPad. I use the camera, take photographs, and then from the photographs, I manipulate the photographs. So that way, you know, everything changes a little bit. All right. And uh, getting to the site, finally, I guess I got here. I want to demonstrate some of the programs. I'll give me a quick lesson, which was basically on my computer. So I'm on my iPad. So... And then if you have any questions, maybe I can answer them. All right. I think Jonathan already went through this. He started off by going to the department's division, the visual art. Then from there, the student links. And then there's a little place to click for online art. And when you get there, this is a symbol that I've created. All a symbol is is a uh, visual bookmarks for uh, different websites. And so if I click on it, I'm going to go to that symbol and just to real quick up, with, up at the top you see drip painting tessellations these things are just something that you can play around with so if i go to drip painting basically it comes up with a white screen if you touch the screen what happens is it starts dripping when you click it you change color if you want to clear the screen you just double click it and again we can go through so i mean you can have this is a nice way to make different backgrounds for pieces that you want to do. And so that way, you know, you can do that. Now, the deal is you can't save these things as you would normally if you're working on a computer. So what you would do instead was take a, take a screenshot and then you can edit it. So I'm going to take a screenshot of this just to save it for something later. All right. The next thing is Tessellation Town. And that is, if you click right here, it shows you how you can build a tessellation. And I think with my finger, uh, on the computer, I can pull the things down. On here, I can't with my finger. Let's see if it will. No, it won't do it. All right. But what happens is you can pull, the, you start from the left and you pull the things into the middle of the screen and you can build a tessellation with that. On the iPad, you can't do it. Some of these you can work with the iPad, others you can't, all right? The next one up here is the Mondrian, and it has, a, it has some instructions for you. If you click on the right third of the color block, it'll split it across, the lower third, split it up and down, and then click anywhere to do it. So just for demonstration. So if I click down here, see if it's, again, it's split it, if I click up here, it'll split it this way. Okay, there we go. Right. And so that way I can go in, I'll change that. Change this one to white, black, blue, red, black, blue. There you go. And so, I mean, you can, and again, you can just keep dividing these things over and over again. And this is a nice, again, this is a nice way to make up some different backgrounds that you want to use in your artwork because uh, they're real good to use. All right, so I'll say that again. I'll take a screenshot of that. Now on your uh, uh, Chromebooks, I believe, to take a screenshot, 
If I can open, I guess it's not going to open it up for me. But I'm having all kinds of trouble tonight. Any other time, things work great. Uh, on a Chromebook, you hit the control plus the show windows key. That takes a screenshot of the entire screen. But if you want to just do a, a select portion of the screen, you hit the shift control and show windows. And if you don't remember that, you can look at it look it up in Google because that's where that's where I found it because I had no clue of how to do that on a, on a Chromebook. I use all Mac stuff. The next thing next to that is the word builder. And this is kind of this is nice because I mean you can take different words and uh, make things from it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one. All right. You input the words that you want to do. Okay. I'm gonna put creative, okay, do another one, uh, photography, P-H-Y, okay, oops. Helps if I can see it. Okay, painting, all right, that's enough, good. And drawing, I'll put drawing in. Now you see right beside it, you can go in and change each, like if you wanted the different font, they have different fonts for things. I was using uh, the, this one, number one, I'm gonna use uh, the graffiti one, that one. No, well, I guess I didn't pick it. There we go, got that one. And I'm gonna pick the Caesar. Okay. And one more. I'll just do the graffiti again. Okay. And down here at the bottom, if you, uh, you see where it says shapes, fonts, layout, and style, you can pick the layout. You can just have all the words go horizontal, vertical. I like to do it the uh, crossing with the horizontal and vertical. So I'm going to do that. And word amounts. Okay, I'll just keep it as the density, how, how many words you're gonna have. Then you can go over here to where it says visualize. And if you click it, what it'll do is it'll make that little cloud, word cloud right there. Now, if you don't like that, then you can go back in and you can go back into where it says uh, uh, layout, no, fonts, no, shapes. We can go into shapes. Uh, on my computer, I had a little bit more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this little, take this shape and do visualize and see it didn't. Okay. It works better on a computer than it does on an iPad. I, I will uh, definitely, let's see. Okay, so that time it worked. Okay, good layout. And you have all kinds of images that you can put all those different types of words into. So that's what's nice about this. Now this, depending on what you wanna do, if you wanna do all the real extra things, you have to pay for it, but just to do the word clouds, again, take a screenshot so that way you can use it. Oops, I'll break and come back. There we go, okay. And then that's it for that one. Okay. So the next one next to that is street art. So if you ever want to be a graffiti artist, you could use this one. Yes, I understand. Yes. Okay. So you start and next. And it gives you different roll to begin with. You have different rollers that you can use. And so if I I think I can, yeah, you can make it bigger. There we go. Hey, Mr. Toby, uh, we, yes? we don't see your screen right now. You don't see my screen. What happened no. to it? Not sure. I'm not sure either. I don't know what. Hold on. We're go back to here. Share content screen. All right. Microphones on, start broadcast again.
Is it back again? Yes. Okay, it's back again. So I can go back up and go back to here. Is it on again? Yes. Okay. We see street art. Okay. And you see street art. Did you ever saw the word one then? Was yeah, we saw it. We saw the word art one. Yes, thank you. Okay, and, and this just one so, was the one that kind of disappeared. Just as a disclaimer, we do not recommend that you do graffiti out in. <laughs> or well, in you can do electronic homes. graffiti. Yes. Uh, yes, electronic graffiti <laughs> is a safe place to do it. Just there you go. Not in your homes. Not out on in the public. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I'll can this one and <laughs> move on. <laughs> So yeah, and it has different colors, so you can do different things. So you can pretend like, and then it has some stickers to put on. Not very, not, not a whole lot. Come on, what happened? It's not. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, so that was that one. Now I'm just, I'm just gonna quit. Okay, so we'll just pass on that one. Next one, artsology. This was kind of interesting because this one shows you uh, making different points and how those points connect. And again, it does not work well on the iPad, but what happens is you add points, okay, create. And then after you add the points, what happens is you can, and it's not, yeah, it's, uh, it's not, oh, well, it disappeared this time. And then after you put your points in different places, and it shows you some examples of things, different things people have done because of, uh, I can't do it on my iPad, but you can do it. You point with your mouse and then you make all these points and then you let it play. And then you end up getting your nice uh, uh, picture when it's done. So we'll just kind of move on from there. Flame painter. This one is, it's almost, it's kind of like a kaleidoscope type of thing. You have to decide what color you're going to use. Uh, you can make whatever size you want to do. The center. Now, chaos is if, like when you put it on, and noise too. So depending on how much chaos, I'm going to change. Now, the deal with this one was I found, like, if I picked a blue it didn't turn out, yeah. You know, well, it turns out blue on this one, but on my computer, it was almost like it, it didn't want to pick the color that I had. It picked a different color. I'd have to pick colors that were adjacent to it. And this, this again, this makes great backgrounds for a, a starting point for something to do. And I'm not going to take any uh, screenshots because I don't want to turn my iPad off again. Okay. And going down in that vein, the kaleidoscope painter. This one has pre-made painting things already done. You just pick and then you start grab, grab around. So you can make some nice. And you can decide what's going where. I mean, you could spend a lot of time just fooling around with these. And the nice thing is you can clear and start all over again. And I don't know, this one, let's see if it'll save. Most of these will not, will not let you save. You have to take screenshots. At least that's what I, that's what the thing was that I found out. Uh, let's see what it says by save. Do you want to save? I'll download it. Oh, this one will let me save it. Okay. Well, that's good. All right. Let me find one that will let you save. All right. And then we can come down here to uh, the sketching things. Uh, we'll go to Vector. Now, you can, uh, these things are online. The reason I picked these programs was because. They, they are actually, they're free and you, and you can use them on the web. You don't have to uh, sign up or join to use them. I mean, you can just use them just the way they are. All right. So on this one, I don't know why that keeps coming up. Why? 
Huh. Well, this one, is it, it's not gonna, it doesn't won't work for me on my iPad. This is a temporary file. Yes, I know. It's a temporary file. Hold on. Layer pages, nothing selected. Oh, okay, there we go. All right. So I can make different shapes, but it won't let me move it around. All right, so I guess I'm gonna pass on that one. But that's a real, that's a real nice, uh, simple vector graphic uh, artwork to work on. Uh, sumo paint. Now this one you can use just like it is, or you can actually download this if you have a computer at home, you'd want to download this. It'll work better if it's downloaded, but it does work on it does work, you know, on the on the screen. Paintbrush, you pick a color, whatever you're gonna do. With this one, I believe is this one okay. And uh, okay, give the color, color. Oh, okay. Blue. No, I don't want that. And I'll don't don't paint. There we go. So any place that's not. So I'll go back with my paintbrush again and finish off of here. Oop. There we go. And it works really good with, uh, I think you'll have, I think you guys have track pads or if you don't have, if you want to use a mouse with it, it'll work real well with that. All right. And they have all, let's see, they have, this is the stamp. I don't want a stamp. I want, it's not smudge. Smudge, yeah, just kind of smudges things up so that way you can kind of move so things don't have to be quite so nice and even. Okay, brush colors, white, okay. There we go, there. Okay, and we're gonna smudge. So, I'm more used to using uh, a little bit more white and there you go. All right, so, and there's other things that you can, okay, if I go here, this is, yeah, this is like a little, and I believe you can undo, yes, you can undo, because what I wanna do is, I'll do that with, yeah. <laughs> There we go. I don't want that now. What's this? Yeah. Why is it I want green? So this is kind of I I don't want that. Okay. So and when you're finished with these, let's see, file and save to, see, you have to upgrade to be able to save to this one. So I'm not going to, again, so this what you would do is you would take a screenshot when you're finished. All right. Uh, Photopea. Now this is dumb. This is almost like, uh, uh, what is it? This is almost like Photoshop. 
that's a uh, free yeah this one if you really want to work with this i would suggest downloading it to your computer but you can work from it on the web all right and i'm gonna hope for a new project and what it does is it tells you i want to do a print so i'm going to do it on a letter size it's going to be white as it is so i'm going to create so there's what it is okay so file if i open in place i can go to my photo library i don't want any of those I'm looking for a particular picture. See, I had all these selected on my computer. And uh, oh, wait a minute. No. no. Ah, there it is. Okay. That. So I'll add. Hopefully that. There we go. So it adds to that. So. This one, if I wanted to, you see the lines that are in there, uh, the thing that's hanging. This is, I was at the Space Center a week or two ago, and so I was taking some photographs there. So if you wanted to get rid of those strings and things, there's a little stamp right here. And what I can do, uh, I won't be able to do it. Select clone source, yes. Yeah, normally you hit the option key and then you make it go away, but I'm not gonna be able to do that, I don't think. Holding, what? Oh, yeah, again, I can't do that. And so, and so you, what you'd be able to do is you'd be able to clone away all those uh, nice little uh, lines and things that you have. Another good thing with this too is you can go up here and I'm gonna open in place again and I'm gonna to go to the photo library again. And actually I'm gonna put in one of these pieces that I've been working on. All right, this piece right here. Oops, didn't wanna turn it, but it turned. All right, so I wanna, I don't want clone source. I'm just doing this. Yes, move. And you notice over here on the right, see that there's a, I can turn it on and off. That's because it's on a different layer. And so I wanna move this hopefully, and it's not gonna let me do it because, okay, so I'm gonna turn it off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open and place a new one again, and hopefully I can get this one to go. All right, there we go. So I'm in the move. So, okay, good. I can move and I'm going to edit and I'm going to transform it by scaling it and I'm going to move that. Okay, good. Move that up. Okay. But what I want to do is I want to be able to see the other guy underneath. So where it says normal under here layers, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put lighten. Ah, there he is. Okay. That's not quite good enough. So I want to do it a little bit more. Okay, no, I don't need that. I want to go to layer, and I'm going to go to let's try screen. Okay, it's coming through a little more, but that's not enough. I want to do. Let's see if I do overlay. Ah, that's kind of nice. I like that. So he's kind of on there and my, okay, yeah. All right, so I need to move move this top layer up. Actually, I kind of like that. That looks pretty good. I think that's a keeper, I'll keep that. And you can do a whole bunch of different things with layers that you can't do when you just normally draw. And that's where the big, big power is a lot of times in digital art is using those layers and changing them and different things like this. Now on this program, you can actually save. You can actually save as a Photoshop, which probably you don't wanna do, but we can export it and we can save it as a JPEG, which is just a regular picture and we'll save it. And do you wanna download new project? I'll download. Okay, so I'd save that for that. 
but this is a really good program. It's got a lot of uh, good things over here. Like I said, it's just like Photoshop, except it's free. I will tell you though, uh, I would save uh, often when you do this, because what happens is the memory on your computer gets clogged. When you're working on the web, it, it, it's, it's slow and uh, you can, but it's, it's really good. So I'm just gonna keep that. All right, and what else? Photo editor, basically it's the same one. A little flip animation thing. This is kind of nice, uh, except I have to accept the cookies. All right, so I'm gonna take and take a little, uh, and I want it to be at least about this big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here. For some reason, I have to go backwards. Now I'm gonna hit plus. When I do that, you see it makes the other one kind of, why, I don't know why that one's okay. You see the last one, I'm gonna do this again, plus, and come over here, plus, Okay, and what happens is you're drawing and you get to see what's underneath the last thing that you did. So now if I go down here and I play this, what happens is it goes and it'll continue to play. So, I mean, you could see where, I mean, you could do something like that and make some really nice little animations. Okay, so we'll stop. And here's one, is a good, you know, let's see what this one's like. So they have some examples of what people have done. I don't know about that one. There we go. So this is a nice, I mean, it'll, it, it, you know, It'll take you a while, but I think you'll you'll get the that's, you'll you'll get the gist of it. So, I mean, those are the ones that I can actually use on my. Oh, the other things I put on here too. Uh, there's what well, there's this little game. Uh, they have a whole bunch of games. There's like a sand painting game. Close. All right, and it starts, and then you can what you can do is you can put wax across. And then you can put gunpowder. And then after you put the gunpowder in, then you put some, uh, put a fuse. And then you hit the torch, and which lights the fuse, which hits the gunpowder, which makes, <laughs> so I mean, you could spend I know I did. I spent quite a quite a few minutes uh, work playing with this thing. So I have nitro. <laughs> so, so this artsology has a whole bunch of different uh, games that you can play. That's on it. Uh, the art factory itself, art e factory. This is uh, if you ever don't know what you want to do <laughs> for a lesson. There are all kinds of lessons on here and it goes through and shows you different things to do. Pencil portrait, color pencil, ancient Egyptian art. Let's just take a look. Uh, okay, open. I guess not. So I won't do that on there. But anyway, with your computer, I'm pretty sure you'd be able to Get in. And then the other thing that I included on here also, too, was a collection from the Metropolitan Museum of Art that has a whole bunch of different uh, things that you can look at and do. So, ah, so unfortunately, like I said, unfortunately, without being able to use my mouse and keyboard. Uh, some of the other programs won't work. 
But uh, all these things will work with a uh, computer because I tested it out with a, with a Google Chromebook because I wanted to make sure that everything that I picked would actually work for that. And uh, that's it. Does anybody have any questions? Jack, um, we had a, a compliment from one of the students. Um, let me let me read the compliment. Uh, <laughs> we've, we've had a lot of chat. I don't know if you can see the chat on your. No, uh, I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, Eva wrote that uh, he makes really awesome art. Oh, thanks. Uh, oh, that's nice. And and why is that? Why why do you make such? You make it seem effortless. What what is your secret to <laughs> making such see? great? It's, it's, it's anything. It's just like anything. It's just lots of repetition, doing it over and over again to where, you know, gets the thing. So how do I get my face up here now? You could draw your face if you want. I could draw my face. Yeah. Well, that's one thing. I'm not a really good draftsman. I'm really good at using photos and manipulating photos. But uh, as far as drawing, that's not my big forte. I mean, actually, you know, putting all the putting all the things together. Yeah, it's a shame that the computer wasn't working because what I wanted to do is I wanted to show I did take screenshots of those different things and I actually put them in the photo P and actually built a picture doing that. Gotcha. But it, it's not letting me. I don't, I don't, I don't. Let me see. Hold on. A minute. Let me see uh, if I can. Yeah. While you're figuring going. that out, we do have a couple other uh, things. Questions? The, um, yeah, so uh, two other comments. Um, one student wrote that I love your art, all in capital letters. Uh, oh, that's so nice. That's uh, someone very excited there. Um, Daphne says, your art is really nice. I like it. I think you've got some fans here. Um, okay, <laughs> so here's a question. What is the name of the program that you tell about pow powder? Powder? Yeah, I'm not sure what the powder was oh you mean that last one that was that was uh you know the one that had the the the, the sand coming down and part of it was you did pot yeah you, know, you could put gunpowder across it and oh, then you powder. could light it with a fuse that was that uh uh there wait a minute yeah. let me go back powder. that was uh i think joey wrote it in there gunpowder that's artsology that's one of the games in Artsology. Artsology. Sand painting game. Yeah. They have a whole bunch of games in there. It's really good. I mean, they're a lot of fun. Yeah. And you could sand painting game, Egyptian art paintball. I mean, so, I mean, these are kind of, they're kind of fun things to do with art. Sure. You know, instead of just making it too. But, and, uh, and Mr. Toby, I, I just want to remind the students and the parents out there um, that, you know, I, there may be something that you come across that's not appropriate. And you, you know, when something isn't appropriate, it might be something right. somebody says or draws or, or you see something that's not appropriate. Make sure that if you're at school, you report that immediately to your teacher. If you're at home, let your uh, parent or guardian know that. All right. Because um, you know, that that's not all right. And we know that. Um, and then parents, uh, for those of you on here, on the here, um, I, I recommend that you have your, your uh, child create their art if they're online in a, in a public place in your house. Um, I have my son, he only works in um, at the dining room table so that uh, my wife or myself can, can, you know, monitor, make sure that he's, you know, if he comes across something, we can be there for him. So I just, I want to say that because that's a very important point because we all know that sometimes some people, for whatever reason, they, they say something or draw something that's not appropriate. So, but I know everybody here, you guys will do the responsible thing and make good choices. So a couple other, uh, oh, here's a question from Nicholas, uh, Mr. Toby. What is your okay. favorite art that you've ever made? <laughs> what is my favorite art I've ever made? Mm -hmm. well, I haven't made it yet. That's the problem. <laughs> I mean, every, I mean, you get involved making each piece and every one of them that you work on, you think, the, you know, the best one that you've done. 
and it always leads to the next one. So actually I don't have a, you know, I don't have actually a best piece. I mean, I, 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 I like them when I'm making them, when they're done, you know, I either print them or file them away and, or sh and show, I try to show them because I, I, I'm a member of the Morian Art Center. So I, I, I'm in the members show twice a year and, uh, and different places around town that I've had my pieces out too. So I actually sold, uh, I got one at the Morian that was, uh, they were having a contest for the Pelican <laughs> for St. Pete Pelican and, uh, guy who ran the contest bought the, bought my pelican so that was pretty nice nice so, nice yeah. so you're, you're selling your art and you're you're making you're making money so what what's the most expensive artwork that you you've sold uh, it was uh 350 dollars 350 dollars yep wow yep. what can we do with good. that right students <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was pretty oh, good I was, uh, I was surprised but it was great. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yep. And oh, let's good. see what other questions we have. What is the name of the one where you can divide the spaces? Oh, that's the, okay. Let me go back here. That is the Mondrian. Uh, the that's Mondrian. this one. The Mondrian. Mondramat is what they call it. Yep. 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 And it looks like Juliet answered that one there. If you guys are wondering how to spell that, you can see it on your screen or see it in the chat. Mondri Matt. Mondri Matt. The famous artist Mondrian. Right. Uh huh. Yeah, that was pretty neat. You know, and then again, <laughs> I spent a lot of time sitting there goofing around, playing with, you know, making, uh, you can kind of lose track of time sometimes when you're working on some of these things. Do, do you have uh, any animation apps that you recommend? Uh, mm, not that are for free, no. Okay. I see no. somebody wrote in here, um, and, and this one we've not checked out, so we can't, we can't really advocate it, but in the chat, somebody wrote something about app, uh, animation. Right. Mm. Yeah, there's a, there, there's a there, you know, I look for animation programs, but most of them now, even the free ones that, you know, we used to use when I was teaching, now they want a subscription, a, a subscription uh, fee every month. So. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Julie pointed out that you were showing a flipbook animation. Um, right. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Yep. good. That's good. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Any other last questions? I'm going to post um, Mr. Tovey's uh, Symbolu site here again. Good. Yeah, there you go. Um, let's see. I did have that address. I think I posted it earlier, but I'll do it again. Uh, so all the all the apps that uh, Mr. Tovey shared with you tonight, um, we will, we're putting that in the chat. And then you can just uh, copy that link and, and save it for future reference. We also have it on our visual arts website too so and they do work better on the they do work better <laughs> on your on the your computer laptop. yes yes yeah <laughs> so um oh here's here's one one more question here from nicholas he, he's asking how many pieces of art uh have you made since when <laughs> i guess since you were born <laughs> well hey uh, you know what hold on a minute are you keeping account i can show, I can show here I'll show you, if you look at the screen here, you can take a look. <laughs> Quite <Wow>. a few. <laughs> yeah. And you can see there's different versions. You know, yes. Like you you, you yeah, like the, your progression mm -hmm. with the work. Yeah. Yeah, because like the one with the, somebody sent me a picture of the, of the little owl. And then from that little owl, that's how I ended up making that one leader of the pack. It's not even an owl. I mean, the, the, the original picture is the owl, but what happened is after it's been manipulated, it ends up looking like a wolf. And so I kind of like that, so I kept it that way. Yeah, there's lots of versions. And this is, again, the same picture off of that. All right. Or oh. I'm, uh, you know, just doing different things with it. So... Mm -hmm. 
on my my list here it says i have where is it 43,452 photos. So I haven't used every one of those photos, but yeah. I've, uh, you know, I've made, you know, different things, you know, from those things too. And so you, you predominantly make your art using your iPad, is that correct? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. so for, for students um, in elementary art, we do, we do use iPads. In the mm -hmm. And then also in middle school. As a matter of fact, uh, if you're using the iPads in school, I still believe they use the, uh, uh, what is it, the uh, percolator. That's one of them. Mm -hmm. And the other one here, hold on a minute. We go back to the art apps. I believe you guys also use, maybe use PixArt, because uh, I use that a lot. Uh, PixArt, yes. And Circular, I think, is one of the ones that you use too. So, I mean, a lot of the, you know, that's where I, that's where I, you know, that's where I first encountered those uh, pieces was when I was teaching with them. So. Very nice. Yeah. Well, Mr. Toby, thank you for joining us and presenting this evening. It was really, really cool to have. Uh, um, well, I apologize for the technical artist difficulties. Come. It's a real shame because I mean, I could I could have sworn I had everything worked out because because I, I did it here at home. Even had my wife sitting in the other room so I could so she could hear and stuff. But like, I don't know what happened tonight. No apologies, no worries. <laughs> you know we all have had our tech. You know, <laughs> I've been away from it. I've been retired too long. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. And thank you, students and, and parents and guardians, teachers. Thank you for coming this evening to our visual arts enrichment event. Uh, we may have another one next year, so we'll, we'll see. But in the meantime, um, stay safe, stay yep. creative, make an art in any way that you do, and uh, have a good evening. We'll see you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Take care.